This is Pre-Calc 12, Chapter 6.6. .6. We're going to look at combining transformations of sinusoidal functions. And just a reminder, the general form is y is equal to a times f of b of x minus c plus d. And just like our previous transformations, we always perform the scaling and flipping first, then we apply the shifts. And this is because order is important. So let's go through an example. Y is equal to three times cos of two of x minus pi over four and plus two. So here we have our regular cosine function. And the first thing we'd like to do is do our scaling first. So we're gonna do y is equal to three cos two x. Okay, so this one, we just multiply by three, one, two, three. Here, we need to divide it by two. And here, we're multiplying by three and dividing by two. And you can see the pattern here, so let's just continue. Okay, and then just smoothly join the points. And we're done. So this is scaling. Next, let's do the translations. We are going over right pi over four and we are going up two. So right pi over four and up two. And center line is gonna move. And you should see the pattern and just continue. Pi over four, up two. Okay, and again, let's just smoothly join our points. And we're done. Y is equal to three cos of two of X minus pi over four plus two. This is our translations. Okay, another option is to plot the zeros, mins, and max of the normal trig function, then transform these points using x over b plus c a times y plus d. And you want to just do one cycle because the sinusoidal functions are cyclic. After you've done one cycle, then extrapolate. So doing periodic functions is pretty easy if you take advantage of the fact that it's periodic and it repeats. So let's do that with our example. So we have minus pi minus one. This becomes minus pi over two plus pi over four. Three times negative one plus two. And this gives us negative pi over four and negative one. Here we have negative pi over two over two plus pi over four. And three times zero plus two. This gives us zero and two. Here we have zero over two plus pi over four, three times one plus two. This gives us pi over four and five. We have pi over two over two plus pi over four, three times zero plus two, and that gives us pi over 
two and two. Lastly, we have pi over two plus pi over four, three times negative one plus two, and that gives us three pi over four and negative one. So here's our original points. The first one is going to negative pi over four, negative one. That's there. Our second point is zero, two. And then we have pi over four, five. And pi over two, two. And three pi over four, negative one. Okay, that gives us our single cycle. And again, we can repeat this. Point one goes here. Point two translates to there. Point three transforms to there. Point four transforms to there. And point five transforms to there. And again, draw as many cycles as you need. Okay, here are the steps to determine the full transformation. First step, calculate the center line, because that's easy. Then you can calculate the amplitude. Then you can calculate the horizontal scaling and then the phase shift. And here are the equations. So the center line is min plus max over two. The amplitude is max minus D. Scaling is B equals two pi over the period. And finally, D, we will look for where the y-intercept has moved. So here's an example. Okay, our center line is here. So center line. D equals negative one. Uh, we can also calculate this from one plus negative three over two, which is negative two over two, and that's negative one. Our amplitude is one minus negative one, the center line, and that's two. Now we need to calculate the period in order to be able to calculate B. And let's use that point and this point. Period equals three pi. So B equals two pi over three pi, and that's two thirds. And lastly, we need to calculate where the y-intercept is moved. It's moved right three quarters of a pi. So c equals three quarters of a pi. So our final function looks like y is equal to two sine two thirds x minus three pi over four minus one. And that completes this lesson.